Megan's relentless grip, Harry's discomfort exposed at Afro-Caribbean village visit. A visit to the Afro-Caribbean village of San Basilio de Palenque in Colombia has once again thrust the couple's dynamics into the spotlight. Contrary to the warm and loving display the public has grown accustomed to, reports suggest that Harry was visibly uncomfortable and resisted Meghan's attempts to hold his hand during the cultural exploration. The third day of the couple's so-called pseudo-royal tour was marked by Harry's apparent reluctance to engage in the affectionate hand-holding that has become a trademark of their public appearances. Onlookers noted that while Meghan seemed eager to maintain physical contact with her husband, Harry appeared to pull away, leading to an awkward and tense atmosphere during the visit. It was really quite uncomfortable to witness, said one local resident. Meghan kept trying to grab Harry's hand, but he would just as quickly pull away, almost as if he was trying to avoid her touch. This stark contrast to the couple's typically loving demeanor has fueled speculation about the state of their relationship and the underlying tensions that may be simmering beneath the surface. The incident at the Afro-Caribbean village is not the first time that Harry's discomfort with Meghan's public displays of affection has been observed. In the past, the Duke of Sussex has been seen visibly squirming or attempting to distance himself from Meghan's infamous claw, a term used to describe her tendency to grip his arm or hand tightly, as if to assert her control over him. Meghan seems to have this need to constantly be in physical contact with Harry, almost as if she's trying to stake her claim on him, said royal commentator Beatrice Verhoeven. But Harry's body language suggests that he's not always comfortable with this level of public intimacy, and it's starting to become more and more apparent. The visit to San Basilio de Palenque, which was intended to be a celebration of the village's rich Afro-Caribbean heritage, has now become yet another battleground in the ongoing power struggle between Harry and Meghan. While the couple was greeted with enthusiasm and warmth by the local community, the underlying tension between them threatened to overshadow the cultural significance of the event. It's really quite sad to see, said one attendee. You can tell that Harry and Meghan are deeply in love, but there's also this sense of unease and discomfort that just seems to be growing between them. The incident has also reignited concerns about the extent to which Meghan exerts control over her husband, with some critics accusing her of manipulating and dominating him. This perception has been further fueled by Meghan's recent speech at the village, in which she spoke passionately about the importance of empowering Afro women, a topic that some have interpreted as a thinly veiled attempt to promote her own agenda. Meghan has always been very vocal about her beliefs and her desire to use her platform to drive social change, said royal expert Samantha Markle, Meghan's estranged half-sister. But there's a fine line between advocating for important causes and using your partner as a prop to further your own ambitions. As the couple's tour of Colombia continues, all eyes will be on Harry and Meghan, with many eager to see if the tensions witnessed at San Basilio de Palenque will persist or if the couple will be able to recapture the magic that has captivated the public in the past.